Hello, hope everyone's having a blessed Friday and had a wonderful week. So today I'm going to go ahead and do a quick plant haul. Um, so you may be wondering why I have cuttings and I'm calling it a plant haul. So <clears throat> I went and purchased one of these. This is the second one, which I got. This is called a philodendron Rio. Um, it resembles the, it, 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 uh, at a quick glance, you'll think it's a Brazil, but when you look at the leaves, you'll see it's a total different one. This has more cream and silver. They call it a cream splash, uh, philodendron silver sh stripe. Um, it's a, now I did receive a cutting of this and, um, I ended up putting it actually with this one. Um, so I had a cutting already previously, but yeah, so this one has a total different leaf. Um, and, but it's very easy to mistake it for the Brazil, but, um, this one totally, uh, is a total different plant. It's called the, uh, philodendron Rio. So quick story. So I actually bought, this was the, there were only two and I was about to leave the nursery like always. And I look up and there's two, right? So I ended up buying one, took it home. Uh, I go to, you know, repot it. And lo and behold, when I pull it out, I, you know, uh, just, you know, thinking, oh, let me just pull it out. I pulled it out. I ended up taking out the plug. So they put, which I noticed when I repotted my um, philodendron, neon philodendron in when I um, repotted my Monstera adesonis, uh, Fisher is who this, when you generally see this pot, they have these at Lowe's. You'll see Lowe's has Fisher. I believe Fisher provides most Lowe's. I don't know if they provide Home Depot, but I know they do uh, Lowe's in certain nurseries. So um, my um, uh, so I ended up taking it apart. I took the little plug, which they wrap the the um, the um, roots around, and they were it was a bunch of cutting. So then I took it out. She didn't realize, you know, I took it out, lesson learned. Um, this one's going to stay in the pot for a while. I'm going to let it get, you know, grow into the pot a little bit. And I know now when you repot one of these, repot it when it's totally, totally dry. Because what ends up happening, I took the root ball apart, call myself trying to, you know, take it apart. I took the little thing out and they were a bunch of cuttings. And what they do, they just stick a bunch of cuttings in here. They don't, you know, they do have roots. They, they make sure they're rooted in, but it's mainly a bunch of cuttings. So what I ended up doing was taking it out, taking it apart, trying to pot it and it didn't work out. Um, I was able to put these in the water. They're still a little bit soft, but we'll see. Um, you never know I what a little bit of sun will do. And philodendrons are very um, hardy plants. So we'll see. Uh, at least I was able to save some of it. Um, but it was a lesson to be learned. So I ended up potting two um, plants in a nursery, some little nursery pots that I had. And then I went ahead and potted these up. This one was still good. It still has a little bit of a vine here. And then I just put the rest in water. And they're so pretty. I, you know, look at this. Like, how do you throw that away? <laughs> so I'm hoping for the best. You know, it was a lesson learned. Um, she didn't want to get repotted yet. And really, uh, even the nursery said they just stick cuttings in there. Um, and really, you have to let, you know get it um to get a little bit more rooted in uh this one had roots 
but by the time I got to the roots, they were just all tangled up and messed up and I try to straighten it up. Long story short, um, this is what's left of the first plant. So then I end up going back and they did have this, um, the last one left, which I was so happy because I was like, uh, so, um, I'm pretty positive that I'm going to get a good outcome and I'll end up, uh, being able to plant these cuttings up, especially since it's now, it's about to be summertime, um, you know, and it's going to start warming up. Um, I think I'll do okay. Cause I've had the situation actually, I did this with a, um, Monstera that I had got, um, from Steve's leaves. I, it, it was basically loose. I ended up putting it in water and it ended up, you know, uh, hardening up and getting a little bit better. And then I ended up, um, potting it in. So this one will probably be another plant or maybe even two. I don't mind. Cause I love having a bunch of these little plants around. I love philodendrons and the different types but um yeah so this is my first haul so basically it's two plants uh that wound up one two and then I'm believing I can probably make these four into one plant once they get some a little bit more safer roots I put some cinnamon uh some of the roots were kind of soggy so I went ahead and took them off and um man it's been giving me the blues but i finally got this plant situated how i wanted it um now i just gotta wait for it to root um in there and i'm pretty sure it'll end up giving me some a whole nother plant in that one and this one so i'm pretty sure what i did also i uh, put the soil with orchid bar perlite loose soil and I also had, I had some other cuttings, um, but I do have these up against a window so they get bright indirect light. And um, I um, did give the, give them some, a little bit of uh, the soil, a little bit of, uh, I wet the soil with some food. So I did give it some food as well. So that's that. So um, yeah, so this is such a beautiful plant. Um, I watched Plant Arena, which I'm sure everybody does. And she did say this is one of her favorite plants. So I was happy when I saw it. I was like, hey, that's hers. But I seen this before. But like I said, I only had a cutting. And um, the cutting one part, it was just like one stem. Um, but it's still pulling through. So it, this is actually the stem of the cutting that I got. Um, when I did a plant haul, but, um, these came off of, so this was just one plant. I had to throw away a lot of the plant though, um, because a lot of the leaves, and then there were some green leaves even on this one. So I plucked them off, even though I don't like doing that, but this one with the variegation, I really want this variegation to stay on here. So, um, yeah, so that's the first plant. Well, the first two plants we'll say. <laughs> Next, I got this cutie, um, and and I forgot to say I spent nine fifty for each one of those um, the um, philodendron reels. So each one was nine fifty, which isn't bad because I've actually bought, believe it or not, four inch pots for eight fifty um, of philodendron micans in Brazil. I've bought um, the you know the four inch for nine um 850 so for 950 each one wasn't bad especially since those are rare plants so now i do have one of these already but you can't have enough um this is a parallel peperomia she's just a baby and i got her a little terracotta pot i do have one she just got potted into a four inch pot um well, actually, I put her in a three-inch pot. Yeah, she's in a three-inch pot because their roots are very little. And I was able to actually root a peperomia in water. So I was able to see how their roots look. And their roots are, like, real different than any type of roots. But anyhow, um, this is the parallel 
peperomia or pe peperomia putilata. Um, I believe that's how you say it. It's P-U-T-E-O-L-A-T-A. -E or they call it the parallel peperomia. And this plant um, actually leans over. You know, it, it it's a vining plant. It grows up, then it leans over. Um, Nick, I believe it's, I can't say his last name, but he loves this plant. He just did a video on this too. He has a huge one which man he scored but yeah so this plant is real easy um i was able to repot the other one and i just leave it in a windowsill so um it likes the windowsill and i just leave it there it's not uh, like the other ones um the oblavata or the i keep saying oblavata um you know the baby rubber plant and the um those plants in the jelly uh, peperomia, those plants don't like too much sun. They don't, they don't like direct sun. This one can take actually direct sun. And the leaves are just like cardboard. So the one I have is growing and I'm going to be putting her in this terracotta. Um, the other one's in just a nursery pot because I didn't have any terracottas, which I'll probably end up, should have got another pot for her. But anyhow... And I spent $3.95 for this one. And it's a pretty good size, uh, you know, plant. And then I bought another uh, pot as well. So I got these two pots, uh, just a little tiny pot in this one. So, yeah, so I got this as well. And um, another cute little plant. Um, and it's this plant's real easy to take care of. Um, you know, you just got to make sure you put it in uh, the uh, window seal or um, just give it really, really good light. I'm sure it'll take grow lights also. So that's that. You can see the leaves. Okay. Next, I got this is a philodendron moonlight. Um... Now, this is part of the emperor uh, family. You know, with the philodendrons, it's a trip because you have different ones, which I'm going to go over a video. I'm going to do a video on that one day. But for now, this is called the philodendron moonlight. Um, I, I've been looking for this one. It's fresh from the nursery. I'm about to uh, give her a good spray down because I don't want to wind up with any of the, um, you know, the leaf blight or anything like that because philodendrons are really prone to that. And um, this is just like the Prince of Orange. Um, they're, you know, they come in different categories, um, which you'll notice just like all the there's the heart leaf philodendrons, which I I cannot even pronounce how you say the actual Latin name or whatever, but they come in different types, which I'm going to do a video on the, that one day because I, I do so much studying on plants. You would not believe it, but you would think I'd know how to pronounce the names, but um, I know a lot of times I say I go on and on about stuff and I try to explain it, but that's pretty much how I talk. If you know me personally, you'll know. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to explain a um, subject, so I'll just keep going on and on until you get the point. But I'm a Gemini. That's how we do. So anyhow, um, yeah, so this is a Moonlight Philodendron, which I don't have. Um, and I got her this pot right here. It's a six inch terracotta. I'm gonna repot her, get her situated. I now these you can repot is the vining plants. I'm scared to repot right away. Um, I know now keep them for at least a few months, let it harden up. Then, uh, even though the soil, uh, that's a whole nother story, but anyhow, this is the philodendron moonlight. Um, and I'm going to go ahead. She's got this leaf. And so this one just turns, you know, they have the yellow and then it turns lime green, just like the Prince of Orange. Um, she's got this leaf. 
And these plants, what's a trip is when one leaf comes out, another uh, leaf comes right behind it, it seems like, um, so, which is interesting. But um, Or they'll lose a leaf and then they'll replace it with another leaf. So um, I got to cut this off. I don't know what that probably happened, damaged and shipping. But um, yeah, so this was my small little plant haul and um, another two philodendrons and a peperomia. You can't beat that. So I hope everyone enjoyed this haul. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I'm hoping I was able to explain. Oh, and I spent 15 for this one. I spent 15 for this and all, we'll say all four of the plants um, basically came from ex um, Green Acres Nursery. Green Acres Nursery. So they're in Sacramento. So anyone in the Sacramento area watching, they are in Elk Grove, California. If you Google Green Acres, there's one in Elk Grove, there's one in Folsom, and there's one in Roseville. Um, there's one in Sacramento, but that one actually doesn't have house plants. They only do outdoor plants. So um, the ones who do have house plants, the best one that I go to a lot is the Elk Grove one and the one in Folsom, which isn't in Sacramento. Folsom is just one uh one basically it's just like elk grove elk grove is right outside of sacramento but it's still sacramento to me and Folsom is right outside of of sacramento as well so you could just google both but i go to both those are the two main ones i've been to the one in roseville before but there wasn't really that big of a selection they do have good pots and if you're looking for other things like that um they're good for but Anyhow, this one came from the one in Elk Grove. All four of these plants came from the Green Acres in Elk Grove, California. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a blessed weekend and I will be back on Sunday. So I try to do videos now on the Tuesday, Plant Feature Tuesday, um, on Fridays and on Sundays. So I try to keep up with that. So Hope everyone enjoys watching my videos and thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.